Hello guys, welcome back to another Landroad Studio tutorial. In the last episode, we already learned about how to place a web view in an Android application for displaying a web page. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to enable JavaScript in an Android web view. By default, JavaScript is not supported by Android web view. If you want to display JavaScript in web view, we have to enable JavaScript explicitly. So here is a symbol JavaScript. It is a symbol HTML document uh, that contain a symbol JavaScript function called the my function. So we call that function from the button click. So if the user click the button, we display an alert. So now here I am going to save this one. Save it to desktop. First I am going to change language into HTML. Now going to save this file. Save into desktop. I name it as JavaScript test.html. Now this file available in my desktop. Now I open it in web browser. Okay, so this is the page. So it contain a button. So if I click the button, it will display an alert. So this is a web page that contain a JavaScript. So now I'm going to place this web page inside my localhost. So here I use a web server as localhost. So I copy this web page. Now go to root directory of ARM server. Open root directory and paste it here. So now that web page with the JavaScript available inside the root directory of my localhost. Now I'm going to check that one. So before I have to start the localhost. So now the localhost is ready. Now we can check it. Go to localhost. Sorry for that. Okay, inside localhost, we place the file called JavaScript test.html. Okay, now the localhost is working fine and it will display the web page. So now we can start with the Android Pro Studio project. So open Android Studio project. So here I'm going to use the same project used in the last episode. So in the last episode, we place a web view in a fragment. So if the user click the button, uh, we display a simple web page called the google.com. So here we can change something on the button uh, instead of Google. I simply call the Lord web page. So web page. Okay. So now go to main activity.java. So here the web URL is google.com. Instead of google.com, here we are going to open a file in our local host. So here we use the Android virtual device for testing this project. So for accessing the local host, we can use the default IP 10.0.2.2. So this is the default IP address used by every Android virtual device to access the local host. So in local host, our file name is JavaScript test.html. Okay, so now we can test it. So now uh, we, we are going to display a web page that contain an alert dialog. So by default, Android Web View does not support JavaScript. So we can check it. So run it now. So now I'm going to load that web page from localhost. So now the web page successfully loaded. But if I click the button, 
it will not show the alert dialog because javascript is not enabled in this web page sorry in this web view so for display javascript we have to enable it explicitly so here we display the javascript in a fragment so now i'm going to enable javascript for this web view so before going to load the url first i'm going to get the web settings so create an object of web settings get the settings from the web view so you can call the function get settings so by using this web settings object we can enable javascript so web settings dot set javascript enabled into true this will enable javascript to display an alert dialog we have to add one more thing Uh, we have to add one more thing called the set web chrome client and pass an object of web chrome, chrome client okay so now this web view is enabled by javascript and we set the uh, web chrome client for the web view so now we can test the application so run it again now load the web page and click the button so now it will display the alert dialog from the javascript so this is how we enable javascript for an android web view i hope you understand the concepts please subscribe this channel for getting more android tutorial updates thank you for watching see you in the next episode